there's some things you can do to speed up the process and, and you know, why do it slow if you can do it faster? So one of the things you can do is make smaller turns rather than this. That takes a long time. Make small, small turn. Go quick. It also gives you, it also gives you better flavor, better uh, thread placement. So little, little small turns. Do it quick. Another thing that's helpful is to use extra bobbins to. Uh, for your ribbing material and so forth, especially like if you're using thread. Uh, I'll show you how this works. Notice that this thread is flat. You know, it's kind of separated right there. That makes it difficult when, you, when you're tying. So the answer to that is to, is to spin, spin the bobbin. Some threads are flat, and it's really hard to tie if they're if they're separated. So you spin the spin the bobbin, and that twists it up. And then it will hold in place when you tie. There are some ways to speed up your work, or or make your work easier, or maybe both. One way to do that is to have your ribbing material on a separate bobbin. Then you can wrap it under control. For thread body flies, the situation varies according to the size of the hook, of course. And uh, if you have a relatively big hook, or, or you know, not tiny, small, very small thread, thread takes a long time to cover. So it's so it's an advantage to use a little thicker thread. I'm going to put the rib on this. Mark this. Uh, body that's already worked up. I'm going to show you a little different way to, to do this. I'm going to secure the thread here in the front. That seems like an unnecessary step, but I'll show you why here in a minute. For really tiny flies, if your material your ribbing material is on a spool, you can use a bobbin to wrap it. It's very precise. Be sure you don't break it. And I get here to the front of, with the thread material, I can actually secure it. Now I'm going to attach thread again, but this is not the same thread. This is thinner thread. When I attach, if I attach the, the, the thread that I made the body with there at the front, it, especially on a smaller hook, it'd be too bulky. So, but I've attached a, a very fine thread there, and now I'm going to put, I'm ready to put put uh, dubbing on in this in this case. You can dub on the on the thinner 
Thinner thread, no problem. Beginning fly tires have a tendency to to make the heads too big and it's usually because of thread that's too thick or something like that. So with this thinner thread, I'm not bulking up the front. It may seem like wasted motion and so forth, but I can assure you that if if you're an experienced tire, it can really speed you up and makes it more convenient. It's handy to have extra bobbins. It may seem like it's it's not necessary and it's not. You can use one bobbin and uh, get away with it. Not get away with it. You can use it. It just takes a lot of time if you need to change threads to tie a different fly or if you're tying two, two different flies at, in the same session or something. It's just a hassle to have to go and uh, take your threader and put some more a different spool on every time you want to do something. Sometimes you might even have the uh, two different thre threads used on the same fly for convenience sake. Dubbing with one thread and, and uh, finishing off with a dark head or something on the, on the other, like a light, light thread for the dubbing and a, and a darker thread for the thorax in the, in the head. So uh, I recommend it. Some bobbins are really expensive, these aren't. This is the bobbin I use for my work. Notice it's a pretty simple, it's called a clip type. The thread is it's easy to load. Just clip it onto the thread like that and then you and then you use your threader to thread it. Easy to adjust the tension, stretch it to, for less tension, squeeze it together. And the spring quality of it makes gives you more tension for your thread. I like this simple little bobbin for several reasons. Probably the most important reason is that it has a ceramic tube. Metal tube bobbins, after after enough service, years maybe for an amateur, but for a professional, not very long. They groove as the thread goes through there, miles and miles eventually a thread. It grooves and makes a notch. And then when you're tying, you're tying some day and bang, it uh, breaks. That's because of the nick there. This ceramic is so hard that I've never had that problem with, with, with this type. Just remember that, that they, and if, you're, if your thread is breaking with your bobbins that you have, Look and see if it's got a groove there. Work the thread around and see if it has a groove. This this may be cheap, but this is what I what I like to use. If you get an expensive one, you'll find one with ceramic. 